What is the name of this city? This town? This yeah. is Hong. Hong Ngư Chao. Hong what? Hong Ngư Chao. Okay, so today we're cruising in where? Hong. Hong Ngư Chao. Yeah, that yes. place. So we're on the motorbike, yeah, and yes. we're. <laughs> I'm already on the motorbike. We're, yes. we're exploring a little bit, <laughs> and I'm just crossing my fingers that we don't slip and die and fall <laughs> over. <laughs> Okay, so we're hopping on a motorbike again. Yes. We're heading to where? I'm very happy. Where, uh, where are we going? Okay, I am brought uh, I'm going to the Cam Cambodia. Yes. yes, Cambodia. Cambodia. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Wait. Oh, I need. Oh wait, wait, wait. So apparently everything around me is all rice fields. Everything is rice and more rice. Banana trees. Hello and welcome to rural Vietnam. Today I'm just walking around. I've been here for a couple days now. So right now I'm just exploring and I'm on a bridge and I have no idea what those are but it's something. Right when I was going to start shooting this video, however, motorcycles are everywhere. These, uh, they're like hundreds always. Just took out my camera to start talking and um, boom, I hear a loud crash. I turn around, two motorcycles collided and I see three bodies on the ground and they slowly start to get up. What's interesting is that nobody goes to help. Like I just sort of kind of briskly walked over there to make sure like their bones weren't broken, their heads weren't cracked open, that type of thing. But like everybody just kind of looks, nobody really. And then and then you could tell, I don't, obviously I don't understand their language, but they didn't know what to do. Like, what do you do? Obviously in, in our hometown we would call the police, blah blah blah, and analyze it, figure out whose fault and all these weird things, but nope, not here. It was just kind of, um, it happened and that's it. But uh, they were cut up pretty bad, like uh, some serious scrapes. They had some serious burns, uh, road rash, but I don't know. So I just made sure that they were still alive and that was it. Obviously I couldn't really say anything because they wouldn't understand and vice versa. But, I don't know, it's just so weird. Tons of people are around, yet nobody really goes investigates. It's weird. So we're using Google Translate. Somehow, he's trying to explain something to me. I have no idea what, but we're going to find out. Oh, you take yeah, That was an interesting story that happened already. A guy sort of waved me over. I thought, okay, why not? So I go, and he was very interested in my camera. He wanted to take it out of my hands, and I'm like, you're making me nervous. And he spoke zero English, and then he waved me over. He's like, oh, come, kind of showing me to his friends. So I went with him to his friend's house, and it was the strangest thing ever in all of my travels. The guy like patted me down. He wanted, he kept touching all of my pockets to see what's inside. And I'm pretty cautious, like, okay, I'm, I'm seeing where this is going. The guy's like 45 years old. And I'm like, what's this guy gonna do? He sort of patted me down. And then he got to my wallet. He had to unbutton my back pocket to check out my wallet. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it, just uh, letting it happen. And I'm like, okay, okay. And then he just goes through every pocket, every part of my wallet. He sees how much money's in there, which I always carry a small amount. So there was a total of maybe $10 in there, which apparently is a lot, um, at least in this area. So uh, it was about $10 all in local currency. And uh, they wanted to touch the camera, see the camera. And then next thing you know, their neighbor is like a little, maybe eight year old, nine year old girl. She knew English. And so she's doing this little translation between me and her neighbors, it was interesting. So somehow the neighbors, the girl and her parents, took more interest in me because they understood English, and then the other ones just sort of 
walked away. <laughs> it was strange. And they invited me. They said, sit, sit. And uh, next thing you know, he brought coffee and watermelon. We started eating watermelon and just talking, communicating, and what little bit of English we had. Um, but yeah, the father and the daughter, the little girl, they knew quite a bit, and it was good. We actually could communicate. So it was very fun. So for about 30 minutes, we sat there and, um, and just enjoyed each other's company. But uh, this is what it looks like across the street. Can you see? Uh, yeah, it looks like that. Um, anyway, so it's a very, very uh, rural area. I've seen zero foreigners, and that, they said this is the first time they've ever spoke with a foreigner in their life. Um, so my guess is people don't really come here much, which is what I like. So I'm super thirsty. I just bought a tea. I handed him 15,000, but he gave me five back. Apparently it was only 10, which I thought was interesting because it's very, even in this small community so far, it's been very honest. Not like many other places I've been in Asia where they tend to charge you more because you're white, you pay white tax. <laughs> even in um, Ho Chi Minh City and in, in, in Hanoi, Vietnam, you always pay the white tax and pay more, but here, very honest, everything I'm paying is local prices. So we are in Vietnam and we are walking to... Where? Where are we walking to? Cambodia! We're walking to Cambodia. So the English center is literally right there. We walked for 30 seconds. Now we are going to cross a bridge that is up there. We're According to Google, about two kilometers away from Cambodia or Cambodia. Yeah. But I, I don't think we can go because the military will like shoot you or something. I don't know. I heard that there was a fence or a gate and you cannot just go across. So you must go to a different way if you want to enter Cambodia. But I don't know. I think we're just walking to see what is over here. <laughs> Do you remember the last time I filmed you? Yes. What did you say? I don't know. I have a You said, don't do, don't do, or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. You said, oh, don't, 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 don't take me, don't, don't take me. I don't do. Over the bridge is a film. What do you think about living in this town of 7,000 people? That's what someone told me, 7,000 people. I don't know. I don't know. But what do you think about living in this town? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it amazing? Boring! Boring. Why? Why? If, if they have a Wi-Fi, so amazing. And no Wi-Fi? So if there's Wi-Fi here, it's good. If there's no Wi-Fi, the town is bad. Yes. Yes. There I've you seen. have it. Have you been this way before? No. Never? Yes. You've lived here for 14 years and you've never been over this bridge. No. Really? Yes. You don't explore? Yes. You just go to school and then go home? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I am go travel some, some place, but don't this way. Not you go way. travel, but you don't go this way. Yes. It's literally like a 20 minute bicycle ride from his house. So it seems crazy that you would not go this way. What do you think? What do I think about what? It's very dirty. dirty. Yeah. I remember my dream from last week. Yeah. I just remembered. I had a dream. And I was <laughs> in the river, this river or a river in Vietnam, on a boat, and I dropped my camera into the water and it was gone forever. That was so my dream. So many attention. So many oh, attention. Do you want to jump out the bridge? Oh. Off of the bridge? No. If the water was clean, yes. If there was, because you could see, but you cannot see what is beneath the surface of the water. And there could be something very hard or sharp right underneath and then you die. So, yes. no. Or a crocodile could eat you. So, oh, wow. No, I don't like, I don't want. You think the river has I don't know. I don't know what is in Vietnam and what is not in Vietnam. But I know you have crocodiles. No. No? Yes. You have things that will eat you here in Vietnam. No. In, yep. in Hong Kong, no. But another city or another... Uh, town. Animals can walk. I don't know. Sound. I don't trust. I don't want. I don't want to be eaten by a big fish. <laughs> so they took a picture of me with an app that makes me look like a woman right. with crazy yeah. hair. 
you're wondering about the traffic, it's crazy. It's safe though because all the it's normal to walk on the street and cars go around you. But it looks like we're going to die. <laughs> but it's totally normal here. Okay, take take wait go go back to go back to the the hair one with the beautiful hair. Yeah. Do the beautiful hair, and then I'll do a pose, and then we'll see what it looks like. Are you ready? So if I go like this, like uh, hurry up. There's there's people looking. Wait 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 wait. Okay, go. No, 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 one more. Like this. I want you to go like this. Like this. Crazy. Yes. Look very crazy. Oh, yeah. Look, wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can get a shot of this. Uh, beautiful. Or Dep. Yes. Dep. No. Dep guy. Dep guy. Yeah, Dep Do you want to take a bath of river? Do you want to take a bath in the river? <laughs> in. Wait. So in the Philippines, everybody called me Bronx, or excuse me, Bronx and something else I forget. But here, they can't say my name very easily, so I'm I'm Mr. or Mr. Rop, R O P, Mr. Rop. Every night there's a festival here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like really? Yeah. Really. Oh, well, I want to go to see. You should see this. Look. Um, at night. At night. At night. Like, night. I'll show you when we get close. Night. This is insane. I don't like your you like your I'm fine. Ram Hey. So people actually do this. It looks broken. No. Every night. This actually works? This is broken. That's impossible. We have like an audience around. It's very strange. Where's the rock? Do you want to go there? Ride a horse? No. Now. Yes. I want to come back at night and see because I honestly don't think. I think you're joking with me and you say it's going at night, but it's not going at night. Today we begin. First me. We'll come tonight. Yes. And I will ride this horse over there. You can't see. Where do we go? Over here? Yeah. Okay, let's go. And I've learned some Vietnamese words. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> One is a leaf. These are small leaves from a tree. And he taught me yesterday and it was La Cha La Cai. La Cai. La Cai yes. is leaf, La like a leaf on a tree. Leaf. What else? Ask me another word and I might remember. Cai. Spicy. <clears throat> spicy. Cai. I know Cai. Mm. Ask um, me an English okay, word and I will speak the Vietnamese. What's your name? Really? <laughs> what really? My name in Vietnamese is Brock. <laughs> I don't know. Am I right? Do you know what it means in Vietnamese? What? Uh, what's your name? Ah, like speak. What's your name? Yeah. What is your name? Your name uh, is name is Tan. Uh, name you what? Uh, Tan. Tun, wait. Tun bang. Tun bang. Lazy. Yes. Tun bang lazy. We'll have an English test of pronunciation. Yes. Come over here before I walk on you. <laughs> I want you to repeat. You'll be the last one. So you come over here, you come over here. You'll be last. Number one, number two, number three. Okay. <laughs> They're crazy. Okay. I want you to repeat. I'm going to give you a big word. Ready? Ready? Are you ready? Sophisticated. 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 Very difficult. Sophisticated. Yes, sophisticated. 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 So the joy of walking in Vietnam is that rain happens every day, every time, always. So <laughs> it's very, very dark. The camera probably doesn't show it, but it's moving very fast. It's very dark and it's going to rain very hard very soon. So we must go back unless we want to get wet. I can see it moving very fast. Yeah, I think I should go home. Yeah, I think you should too, because if you don't, you're going to get very, very, very wet. Let's go. Okay, I'm in a, a very rural area, very close to the border of Cambodia. 
If you are near Ho Chi Minh City, you take a bus west of Ho Chi Minh for anywhere between four and seven hours, depending on traffic, and you come here um, where no tourists exist, which is pretty cool. So if you want to get the hell away from the world, <laughs> come here. So I'm with my friend Mr. V, and he's sort of showing me around the area. He didn't want to come, sort of, because he wanted to take a motorbike, but I don't like the motorbike. I like to walk because it sort of immerses you in the culture. So anyway, we're gonna walk, I'm gonna show you around, let's go. So the sun is setting, and so I wanted to come over here. It's a really cool view. I'm on a bridge, and bugs. So we're walking down a street, sort of. You can't really see this very well. I'm gonna try to turn the camera. Hello. <laughs> you can see, like, the house is over here. So at certain times, the water, the water level goes up? Yeah, no. No? So you can see the house is around stilts, but I guess the water, nev the water level never goes up. But maybe they just do that to be prepared in case there's a flood. I don't know, but they're very high. The smell through here is interesting. <clears throat> every, every couple of moments you'll catch a whiff of something that you really wish you would not have smelled. So that's always interesting. There's roosters everywhere, dogs running, <laughs> water dripping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another smell. It smells like it smells like dead fish mixed with rotten something. I don't know, but uh, interesting. The people are very friendly though. Everybody wants to stop and talk, and everybody smiles and waves. Very friendly here. Before I leave, I would love to come to a place like this, Hongnu, and just walk around for like a month, like I did in the Philippines, did in, in Thailand, and just explore. Just explore the areas that are untouched by us Westerners. <laughs> because a lot changes when we come to visit. And then it becomes a giant tourist trap, and everything is catered to us. And I don't like it. I don't like to be catered to in a way that most Westerners do. So I want a very authentic experience. And so far, this is the most authentic experience I've ever had. Yeah. Okay, now pose like a model. I don't know model. Okay, so okay, Mr. V, he's starting to make me nervous here. I say, I want to go... <laughs> okay, so I want to go... I want to go this way, over the bridge. But... I says, is, is this okay or not okay? And he says, I think so. And I said, well, what, what the hell does I think so mean? Like, he says, well, this is where they kill the fish, and this is where they kill the pig. And I said, well, I, I don't care, but... Are they going to kill me? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> what the hell do you mean you don't know? Yeah. Are they going to kill me? <laughs> because uh, because of the people in here are very angry. Angry at what? <laughs> angry at me or angry at pig? Yeah. Angry people and, okay, and, all, and other people in here. <laughs> They're going to go to this somewhere. So, we might die. Okay, we have officially entered this area. We're about 45 seconds in, and we have not died yet, so... <laughs> maybe that's a minute and a half. <laughs> okay, that's it. I guess we... We walked all the way down here just to get water. And we had to go to... Damn. <laughs> we had to go to, like... Four different places just to find water, which is strange. It's so weird. He feels nervous walking through here, and maybe, maybe he has information that I don't, but I don't even feel in the least bit nervous at all. Like, not even a little. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just crazy, but... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so while we are over there, um... You said, <laughs> don't move, stay there, stay there. Yeah, yeah. You said, you said, this area is very, or has a lot of what? 
Yes, that's a, I get this. Yeah, yeah, this area, you said lots of what word? Yes, four. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, do it again. I get the four. Okay, that's better, but how do you spell? Okay, B O R N. <laughs> okay, yes. so later, Google that crap on your phone. <laughs> he has no idea what he's spelling. But what I found out is that I think he's saying B is in boy, O-R-N, a lot born. But for like a minute, I thought he was saying P is in Paul, O-R-N. So I'm really confused, like, really confused. So it's fun. What I want you to do is translate everything. So he gave me an example where we were walking and we passed ladies and apparently he was listening to the conversation and one of them said he looks 20 years old and I'm 29 at the time of this video 29 so looks very good so I feel like I look young um, so anyway as we keep walking keep translating because I, I'm very curious what people are saying like look at that ugly man <laughs> that's what I think people are saying <laughs> translate oh, translate <laughs> translate what people are saying so as we walk and people say in Vietnamese, yeah, I want to understand. I want to know what they say. Yeah, 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 yeah. So hopefully he'll translate. I'm going to go. It's getting dark. We're going to eat. Hello. <laughs> We're going to find something to eat. Remember, start traveling. Time is running out. Start living. Take care.